Governor Brian Kemp called President Biden's vaccine plan blatantly unlawful overreach. WSB Tonight anchor Justin Wilfon is outside the Capitol in downtown Atlanta. Justin, the reaction was swift by the governor. Uh, it certainly was, George, and he has plenty of support tonight from other Republicans as well. But we talked with a local law professor this evening who says if this does end up in court eventually, the president likely has the advantage. As your president, I'm announcing tonight a new plan to require more Americans to be vaccinated. Just moments after President Biden announced his plan to require employees of large businesses to get the COVID vaccine or face weekly testing, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp took to Twitter and weighed in, saying, I will pursue every legal option available to the state of Georgia to stop this blatantly unlawful overreach by the Biden administration. In his speech, President Biden seemed to call out Kemp and other Republicans who he says haven't worked with his administration to fight COVID. To make matters worse, there are elected officials actively working to undermine the fight against COVID-19. Instead of encouraging people to get vaccinated and mask up, they're ordering mobile morgues for the unvaccinated dying from COVID in their communities. This is totally unacceptable. Later, Kemp tweeted again, saying Joe Biden talks tougher to our nation's governors than he does the Taliban. But Georgia State University assistant law professor Anthony Michael Kreis told us if Kemp does take Biden's mandate to court, Biden will likely win because of OSHA, the federal agency that already has the power to regulate workplace safety. So that, that law, which empowers the federal government to regulate the safety of workplaces, also gives the agency the ability to issue uh, emergency workplace orders. And that's what the president is using here in order to impose this mandate on, on large employers. But there's also the court of public opinion, and we found Atlantans on both sides of this vaccine battle. I don't personally believe that you should be forced to be vaccinated. Like, I don't personally believe that you should be forced to have a mask on. I'm in favor. You're in favor of it? Yeah. Tell me why. Uh, better safe than sorry. Justin Wilfon joins us live now from the state capitol. Justin, the Republican National Committee is already backing up the governor's threat to take the president to court. Uh, that's right, George. Late tonight, the RNC said they do intend to sue the Biden administration to, quote, protect Americans and their liberties. But again, George, uh, the president saying tonight employees of large businesses who do not want to get the vaccine can simply get weekly testing instead. George. Justin, thank you.